American challenge of today as Forge Man's destiny of tomorrow. And as we leave the moon and Taurus Literal, we leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return with faith and hope for all mankind. Godspeed to Coup of Apollo 17. So 50 years after Apollo, we have a new program named after Apollo's twin sister. We are living out the legacy of Apollo, but the Artemis program is very different and it's a program whose time has come. We need to go back to the moon, we need to go sustainably and that is what Space Policy Directive 1 is all about. When we go to the moon this time, we go forward to the moon. We're not going back to the moon, we're not going to the moon. We're going forward to the moon. In other words, we're gonna stay for long periods of time. We're gonna go with international partners. We're gonna go with commercial partners. We're gonna utilize the resources of the moon. And when you think about what those resources are, hundreds of millions of tons of water ice that we know exists on the south pole of the moon, probably more. The north pole of the moon, there's water ice as well. How much? We need to find out.